This test is to demonstrate the effectiveness of flame safes, fire retardant coatings on eye joints. The particular coating that we are going to use today is called Fire Poly FP100. The eye joists have been treated with the coating at the rate of 200 square feet per gallon, which equates out to approximately 4 mils. The weight per gallon of Fire Poly is 12.1 pounds with 51% solids. It's important to note that during this test we will be turning off the lights periodically to show you how the flame affects the board. The specimen is 3 8 inch OSB web with composite flanges. This is typical of the manufacturing of eye joints. This test is usually conducted for four minutes. The test method is known as the ASTM D3806. It is an equivalency test to the ASTM E84. Test conducted at Intertech showed a flame spread rating of less than zero if that's possible. The reason why we say less than zero because during the test at Intertech the flame actually reversed. The flame spread, the maximum flame spread was 10.1 from the center line of the burner at the test conducted at Intertech. flame spread is determined during the first 10 minutes of the test and it is continued for an additional 20 minutes. Under the standard ASTM D2768 which is the new standard. These eye joists that you are looking at were, are fastened together side to side.
Other companies such as LP, that is Louisiana Pacific, manufacture iJoys that are fire retardant. However, theirs is a film face that only protects the web of the joint. If you'll notice in this test, we have got the burner at the joint between the flange and the web of the joints. When we complete this test, we will show you, demonstrate the effectiveness, how our flame safe fire retardant actually protects the flange of the joist also. The amount of gas being consumed during this test is 4.8 cubic feet per minute. The equation for the equivalency is y equals 4.8 times 0.92x, x referencing the flame spread determined using the ASTM D3806. Y represents the expected flame safe flame spread result under the ASTM E84. The results from this test correlates exactly to the ASTM E84 test that was conducted at Intertech. We are going to continue this test for an additional two minutes, which is twice the standard of four minutes that is required under the 3806. Upon completion of this test, we will take the board off for viewing and we will scrape back the carbon char Carbon char is very important on, the, on an intermittent basis because it expands and actually protects the substrate, insulating it from the fire, which causes minimal damage to the web. Very important for engineering purposes of using eye joists in construction. At Intertech, the test showed a smoke development of 40 on OSB and 80 on the eye joys. That's a very important to note. The standard is 450 or less. At this time, we're going to remove the specimen from the fire.
please take note of the carbon char, the intermittence. From the center of the burner, the flame, the flame, the char did not exceed more than three inches. From the edge of the flame, the char did not exceed one inch. But this time we're going to scrape back some of the carbon char. It's important to note that the there is very little structural damage to the web of the joist. The web of the joist is what gives the, the eye joist its stiffness and its load bearing capacity. If you need further information on flame safe products, go to flame-safe.com. On the left hand side you will see products marked. Click products, scroll down to Fire Poly FP100. Under testing, you can pull up our test report. You can download it as a PDF file. That test was conducted at Intertech in January of this year.